If you've created content using ChatGPT, you've definitely had this issue, and that's that the content that ChatGPT writes sounds too robotic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to humanize your content and make it sound better. Let's dive in. So you can see here, I'm already in ChatGPT. I'm gonna actually do an example here, and it's writing two paragraphs about what is a primary keyword in SEO. Kind of something that's technical, but also a broad topic. So let's see what we get here by just writing that. Okay, you can see here we got some text, uh, pretty long-winded, but overall sounds okay. Now, I'm gonna actually copy this and we're gonna run it through Zero GPT to see how much AI content is detected in the content. So I'm gonna head over to Zero GPT, which is a free AI detector. Now, I just wanna have a little caveat here. AI detecting is not reliable at all. So even OpenAI themselves had a detector and they removed it because it's unreliable. So if you're a teacher or something like that, I do not recommend using these tools. It is very, very unreliable. But for the sake of this video, a lot of people have asked for this. So I'm going to just use the text here that we just did and show you what we're talking about. So you can see here, the content is detected as 100% GPT. Now let's see if we can improve that by changing our prompt. One of the most important things about AI is the prompt that you're using. So if changing the prompt will give us better results. You can see here I'm back on ChatGPT and I'm doing a new chat because I don't want any of that previous content that we just created in the chat. Now, I'm also using ChatGPT 4.0. I definitely recommend having a higher end model for what we're about to do here because you will get better results. I used 4.0 for the previous result. But here's what we're gonna do now. You're actually gonna give a list of requirements we want from ChatGPT to make the content sound less robotic and just overall better and uh, more enjoyable for our readers. So I just pasted in my writing prompt that I love to use. Now the first thing you can see here is when writing, follow these guidelines. What I like about this format is it's a list so you can easily read it yourself and you can also customize it. So if you don't like something that I have in there, uh, you can easily add in a certain thing or maybe something about your brand or some way that you write and you want it to be very specific. But let's go through line by line and I'll show you what each one does. So of course, we're telling ChatGPT to write with a certain style. We're going to first say don't blab. I realize that saying that makes the outputs from ChatGPT just overall a lot better and easier to read. Second, we're going to keep the sentences brief and clear, and we're going to limit them to 10 to 20 words. This is like a common blogging writing style. Basically, you just don't want long sentences so people can understand what you're writing. Now, the next line here is we're going to use everyday words that are easy to understand. Now, the grade level of the writing is super important, so that's kind of related to that. Just overall keeps the text easy to read and simple. Next, we're going to uh, pick common words over complex ones and use technical terms only when needed. Again, like the previous one. We're also gonna avoid words with four plus syllables. If you must use them, keep surrounding text simple. Again, something else to keep the text very simple. And we're gonna write at an eighth grade reading level. Again, something that's very important if you're a blogger, you definitely wanna keep the text as simple as possible so that most amount of people can understand it. Now, you've probably noticed that ChatGPT will say things like delve, digital landscape. Very often, you'll see these phrases in ChatGPT outputs. They're kind of like a dead giveaway. So this is an overall like a little step in here to remove business jargon and phrases like that. And if you see any of that come up in your content that you're writing, you can just add another word here and easily add in the words that you don't like. Now, we're also going to tell it to make direct statements without hedging. This will make the AI sound more direct, obviously. And we're gonna connect ideas naturally without forced transitions. Also something that we've seen gives better results in the outputs. We're gonna use standard punctuation. We're also gonna vary the sentence structure and punctuation naturally. This is definitely gonna help with that humanizing aspect. And also at the very end, we're gonna tell it to never use these words that are very common in ChatGPT outputs. Of course, like I said, the best thing about this is you can customize it. I'm not saying that this is the best prompt. Depending on what you're writing, you're really gonna get different outputs. So you probably will have to play with this a lot. But overall, this is a great starting point with creating great content with ChatGPT. So let me submit this. So you can see here, the output is a lot simpler and easier to read. Uh, overall, just generally better text. So we're actually gonna copy this and we'll bring it over into Zero GPT to see the score. So I'm gonna paste it into here in Zero GPT. And you can see now we have the text is human written when clearly it's not. This is also how I wanna highlight that these tools are not reliable. For example, I've run this a couple times. Sometimes you'll get 50, 60%. Sometimes you'll get zero like this one. So if it doesn't actually work properly, you can go back and rerun what you said. 
Let's go over another tip just to show you in case that your AI content is detected. Overall, what I think about AI content is that it's a great way to give a first draft of something, but giving it more information is the way to get better results out of these tools. So let's go back to our ChatGPT window and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the best thing about chat tools uh, is that you can ask follow-ups and ask different things. So we can ask a follow-up, for example, here's what I'm gonna write. I want. I want to make this sound more like me, give me specific questions that we can weave into the content so it's truly my own, my opinions, thoughts, and stories. Of course, you don't have to follow this exact wording, but let's post that in there and see what we get. So you can see here we're getting specific questions now that actually will relate to my experience with primary keywords. Of course, the best thing about this is that it'll work with anything you're writing and it'll be contextual. So if you actually just copy all of this, and we'll paste it back in the chat. And you can manually go through here and just fill in each question and have it rewrite the content based on what you fill in here and you'll get a lot better content because it's actually something that you'll have put your stories and your opinions. This is why it is really important to actually give AI the most amount of content possible. And if you don't have opinions on something, you probably shouldn't be writing about it, to be honest. So if you're like writing a surfing blog and you don't actually surf or you don't actually know surfers, maybe that's not a good fit for you and you should find something that you're actually Actually into and interested in making content about. I love SEO, so I can actually sit here and give specifics to actually weave into the content. But if the topic you're writing about actually doesn't mean anything to you, this might actually be really hard to fill out. But of course, you can skip questions and fill in just ones that make sense to you and have it rewrite the content. So now that we've humanized our text and I showed you a great example of how to even further improve your text in ChatGPT, I want to show you on WriteBlogger how to do this. On WriteBlogger, we actually have a way to write in your own writing style. And this is done by giving WriteBlogger some writing examples and it'll make a custom writing style for you. And that's done up here in the account area and you can hit my tone. And I already have two here, but I'm just gonna show you an example. You can add a text sample or use a blog post uh, URL, but I'm gonna edit the existing ones. And if I scroll down, we have improve readability and humanize. And this is basically what I just showed you a little bit ago. It actually helps humanize the content using your own writing style. So overall, you'll get even better outputs when you're using WriteBlogger. And of course, everything I showed you, you can use in WriteBlogger chat. You can ask follow-ups, everything like you can in ChatGPT. And if you haven't heard of WriteBlogger, it is a platform to create long form articles, and we have a ton of other tools that are powered by AI for bloggers and creators. So definitely check it out at writeblogger.com. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.